Okay, so here we have a 2000, I want to say it's a 2013 Intelligent Shift module. And if you don't know, this is the gearbox, the electric motor in here, that actually shifts the transmission on a Mercedes. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to open up Mercedes. We're going to open up DAS Manager, and we're going to go to the ISM, DSM, ESM. And now this is one out of a car, and we are going to save the data. Um, this is the original, so that we actually have this data. So the FBS file. So we're going to read coding. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to save this. And you can probably tell we're in a shop. And that's the way it is. Okay, so that is reading from the original. Now we're gonna go try and read, virginize, and personalize one that is on the used transmission that they put in the car. So we'll start that up in a minute. Okay, today we're going to program a TCM conductor plate into a Mercedes. We've got our Wi-Fi, got our AVDI hooked up to our home-built cable. We have our power source, which is a 12 volt battery. We're plugged in, Let's see if I can get a light up here so you can see it. We're plugged in to the, directly to the transmission. And now we're going to start up the program and personalize this. Okay, so what we've got, we've got a used transmission put into this car. So we're gonna to go to DAS Manager. We're gonna to go to, we're actually hooked up to the transmission. So we're gonna click on transmission. We're gonna click read. So now that we've read it, as I said, I always save it and this is um, the used TCM. Okay, so now we're going to virginize this. We're going to click virgin. It's going to process the data over the internet. What's always nice about working in these shops, some of them actually have good music. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background. We're rocking out swapping conductor plates okay so it's preparing the ECU virgin okay so if you look you can see it says it's not personalized and not activated so now usually you take the power off for a second then hook it back up and now we're gonna personalize it. We actually have a file. If you didn't have the file, if you didn't have the old one, you would go ahead and you would click no and you would hook this back up to the cars data bus and then you would go ahead and do it from inside. But we have, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go, that's the TCM. We're going to click open. Am I keeping you from working? So right now you can see personalization done. So now we've moved the data over to it, but you notice it's not activated. So we're going to click activate. Okay, so now it's activated. Now, the last step that you want to do, you want to write the coding from the original. 
And if you noticed, I saved that from the original one. If you don't do that, um, what will happen is the VIN number could have a mismatch. So we're going to go grab the VIN number and then we're going to put that in. Okay, so we've inputted our VIN and we're going to click Program. And what this will do, okay, so programming done. So now when we read this, It'll read the control unit FBS data, commonly known as DAS, Drive Authorization. And you'll see it's personalized, activated, done. But now when we read the coding, it'll actually, we don't have to actually save that. We can just cancel it. But if you notice, it has our VIN number, our correct VIN in there. So we're ready to go on the TCM, on the conductor plate. Now we have to go for the ESM. That'll be our next. Okay, so we are now plugged into what's called the ESM, the electronic shift module. That's on the side of this transmission. Now, I, I can't tell you exactly which cars have these. I've seen them on the MLs and the four-wheel drive E-Class and S-Class. So this plug is on the driver's side of the transmission and the other side is where we plugged in before. So now we've got our cable hooked up and yeah, like usual, I need an extension. Um, at least I extended the power. So now we're gonna read it. I guess we have to power this baby up. Oh, hey, guess what? Error number one. See how easy S is selected? We need to go to ESM. Yep, never done this before. No, this is what, this is what happens when you get ahead of yourself. Okay, so once again, always save the data. Um, Okay, once we've done that, now we're going to virginize this. Always remember, read the data, save it. Virginize it, and then program it. So now, we're not personalized, not activated. So now, we're going to click on personalization. If you have saved a file, click yes. If not, do it from the easy yes. We actually saved a file. So, so this is the ESM, the original file from the used transmission. So right now it is writing data to the module. Okay, and one thing you're going to notice, see the key tracks? Those are actually the key tracks. See how it says EE64B? If we go up here, we look at what this was like when it was first doing, you notice that's changed. So, we know that we've written the data, but it's not activated. So now, we're going to go over, we're going to click Activate, and yes, I know, Okay, so it's done. So now we're going to click on Write Coding and we're going to get the ESM original coding and we're going to check and make sure that that's our correct um, VIN number. And I got to shut off the video because it's on my phone. Okay, so we checked and that is our correct VIN number which I'm kind of wondering why it didn't come across on our TCM. So now, we're going to read it. So you can see we're now personalized and activated. And if we go down here and we read our coding, 
you can see our VIN number is correct and we really don't have to save that. So we're good to go. The car should start. The only issue we might have is the initial the initial programming for the ESM. There is a setup feature and I have yet to find it on a Britus, but we're going to give it a try. So we'll start the video in a minute. Okay, so we're in our I don't know, 2011, 2012, something like that, E350, um, key in the ignition, we turn it on, put our foot on the brake. Okay, so now before, it wouldn't go into gear. So if you notice, now it goes into gear and it'll move. Okay, so we're ready to go. Everything's programmed now. Okay, I just wanted to put the screenshot in here to show you the errors that this module had in it when we got done programming. So just remember, go back, clear all the errors, and then you should be ready to go. Bring on the next one.